The important question that everyone asks him or herself is Why Almighty Allah created the universe? And why are we here? Most of the people even think that we are here to enjoy the life and they even don't care that what is going to come next after this life to them. Regarding to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah al mumin verse 115 Did you suppose that we created you endlessly? And that you will not be brought back to us? He is warning us that we would be brought back to him. It means that there's a name, there's a reason, and we should take care of it. What can the reason be? In Surah at Talaq verse 12, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is Allah who has created the seven heavens, and of the earth they are like, and the command descends between them, so that you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful over all things and that Allah encompasses everything in knowledge. So what does it mean? It means that He created the seven heavens and the earth so that we know He is much powerful and encompasses everything in His knowledge. Or in a short sentence, He created the creatures to be known. I say I'm an engineer. Who's gonna accept that I'm an engineer? Of course, nobody. Until they haven't seen a product of my engineering service. So for that, there should be some people to see my product and then accept that I am an engineer. Otherwise, it's meaningless to say that I am an engineer. So we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al Khaliq. Khaliq means creator. So creator without creation is not called creator. Therefore, Almighty Allah created us to be known as a creator. But remember brothers and sisters, he is the only one who creates out of nothing. For example, a carpenter who creates a chair and a table with the help of wood and nails. But the wood has been obtained from the trees which has not been created by the carpenter, not by human beings but by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The nails have been obtained from metal which have been obtained from rock which again is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all the creations done by human beings, they are dependent on basic elements, all of which have been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this type of creation, to create something from something, is a limited type of creation. The ultimate and the true creation is to create something from nothing. And this, no one besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do. Oh, another example, let's say Earth is great. But it is impossible to say it's great unless a smaller substance is there. But if the moon is beside it, then we can accept that it is greater. So in order to know that the earth is great, there should be a smaller substance like moon or anything else. Almighty Allah is great. So there should be some creatures that in comparison, we can know that He is great. And there are lots of examples that clearly show that the reason of creation is to know Him. It means Almighty Allah started creation to be known. And among all the creatures, He is testing humans and jinns. Because we are the only creatures who have the power of thinking. What does it mean? It means that the one who thinks better can better know Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, I have not created mankind in jinn except to worship him. The verb liyabudun means to worship. Worship him. We should know the one we worship. A rational person only worships the one who is the best, powerful and worthy of worship. So who is he? Certainly there's a creator. And that Creator deserves to be acknowledged. And that Creator deserves to be obeyed. Because that Creator has the only one has the right to legislate and to adjudicate and to be for humans who have the highest intellect to conform to. And definitely that Creator has no associates and that Creator has no comparison.